Hi everyone, I'd like to demonstrate how to handle an optical interface's failure to go up. Here I use an S6700 switch as an example to illustrate the troubleshooting procedure. Step 1. Check whether the interface has been manually shut down. For example, if GE002 cannot go up, run display interface x gigabit ethernet 002 command and check the current state field in the command output. If this field displays administratively down, the interface has been manually shut down. Then we need to run the undo shutdown command in the interface view. First enter system view, then interface x gigabit ethernet 002. Run undo shutdown in the interface view, Then type Q to exit from the interface view. Run the display interface command again. The current state field should be up if the interface has recovered. The display here is only an example. If the interface is still down, perform step two. Check whether the center wavelength, transmission distance, receive power and transmit power of the optical transceiver on the interface are within normal ranges. Run this command in the system view. Display transceiver interface x gigabit ethernet 002 verbose. The command output shows the center wavelength, transmission distance, receive power, and transmit power of the optical transceiver. If all these parameters are within normal ranges, go to step three. Check configuration of the local and remote interfaces. Run the display interface command as we have done in step one. But now we need to check the negotiation and speed field in the command output. The negotiation field is disabled. The interface is working in non-auto negotiation state. This field is enabled. The interface is working in auto negotiation state. The local and remote interfaces must be in the same negotiation state, either auto negotiation or non-auto negotiation. Also, the speed of the two interfaces must be the same. If they are working at different speeds, run the speed command on either interface to change the interface speed. If the problem persists, check whether the two interfaces are using Huawei certified optical transceivers. You can contact your equipment supplier to confirm this. If the interfaces are using Huawei certified optical transceivers but still fail to go up, check whether the optical fibers match the optical transceivers. Multi-mode fibers must be used with multi-mode transceivers, while single-mode fibers must be used with single-mode transceivers. Generally, single-mode fibers are yellow and multi-mode fibers are orange. If the optical fibers match the optical transceivers, but the problem persists, check whether the optical transceivers are supported on the local and remote interfaces. An interface cannot use an optical transceiver with a higher speed than itself. For example, a 100 megabit optical interface cannot use a 1000 megabit optical transceiver. If proper optical transceivers are used but the problem persists, perform a loopback test. Connect two ends of an optical fiber to the same optical transceiver and check whether interface can go up. If not, replace the optical fiber and optical transceiver. If the problem is still unsolved, contact Huawei technical support engineers. To help them locate the problem, send them the results of the preceding steps, as well as the configuration file, logs, and traps of the switch. That's all for the troubleshooting instructions. Thanks for watching. To obtain more information about common configurations and typical features of Huawei switches, 
see the all about switches threads. How can we find these threads? We can enter, quote, all about switches, unquote, site, colon, Huawei.com. In the search field of Google, click any of the displayed links to enter Huawei Enterprise Support Community. For details about more features, visit the home page. The All About Switches threads describe typical configurations and users' questions about Huawei switches. Okay, that's all about today's sharing. Thank you.